Good morning and welcome to our Holy Thursday morning prayer. Thank you for joining us. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Look, O Lord, and see my suffering. Come quickly to my aid. Look, O Lord, and see my suffering. Come quickly to my aid. Shepherd of Israel, of Israel listen. Guide the flocks of Joseph. Joseph. From, from your throne upon the cherubim, reveal yourself to, to Ephraim, Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your power, come to save us. Let your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. Lord of the hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? You have fed them to the bread of tears, made them drink tears in abundance. You have left us to be fought over our neighbors. Our enemies deride us. O Lord of hosts, restore us. Let your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. You brought the vine out of Egypt. You drove away the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground. It took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow. The cedars of God by its branches. It sent out bugs as far as the sea, shoots as far as the rivers. Why have you broken down the walls so that all who pass by flood the fruit? The boar from the forest strips the vine, the beast of the field feeds upon it. Turn again, Lord of hosts. Look down from the heaven and see. Attend to this vine, the shoot your right hand has planted. Those who would burn or cut it down, may they perish at your rebuke. May you help me with the man at your right hand, with the one whom one has made strong. Then we will not withdraw from you. Revive us, and we will call on your name. Lord of hosts, restore us. Let your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Look, O Lord, and see my suffering. Come quickly to my aid. God is my Savior. I trust in him, and he shall not fear. God is my Savior. I trust in him, and he shall not fear. God is my Savior. I trust in him, and shall not fear. I give thanks, O Lord. Though you have been angry with me, your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is in my Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water from all the fountains of salvation, and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievements. Let this be known throughout the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God is my Savior. I trust in Him, and shall not fear. The Lord has fed us with finest wheat. He has filled us with the honey from the rock. The Lord has fed us with finest wheat. He has filled us with honey from the rock. Sing joyfully to God's strength. 
shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Take up the melody, sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding harp and lyre. Blow the trumpet of the new moon, at the full moon our solemn feast. For this is the law in Israel, and of the God of Jacob, who made it a decree for Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I hear a new oracle. I relieve the shoulders of the burden. Their hands put down the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. Unseen I spoke to you in thunder at the waters of Mara. I tested you. Listen, my people. I give you warning. If only you will obey me, Israel. There must be no foreign God among you. You must not worship an alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, that I may fill it. But my people did not listen to my words. Israel, I did not obey me. So I gave them over to hardness of heart. They followed their own designs. But even now, if my people would listen, if Israel would walk in my paths, in a moment I would subdue their foes against their enemies, unleash my hand. Those who hate the Lord would tremble, their doom sealed forever. But Israel, I would feed the finest wheat, satisfy them with the honey from the rock. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has fed us with the finest wheat. He has filled us with the honey from the rock. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Hebrews. We see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he who suffered death, he, for a little while, was made lower than the angels that by the grace of God he might taste, taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that we who for whom through him all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. By your own blood, Lord, you have brought us back to God. By your by own, own blood, Lord, you have brought us back to God. God. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you have brought, brought us back, back to God. God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. I By your own blood, Lord, you have brought us back to God. God. I have longed to eat this meal with you before I suffer. I, I have longed to eat this meal with you before, you before I suffer. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up his mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of those who hate us. He promises to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you shall go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am long to eat this meal with you before I suffer. Let us give thanks to Christ the Lord, who by dying on the cross conferred life on us. From the depths of our hearts, let us pray. By, By your death, death give, give us life. Our Master and our Savior, you have given us proof 
of your faith, and you have renewed us by your glorious passion. Let us not grow old in sin. Grant that we may fast our well-fed bodies today and give help to our people in hunger. May we devoutly receive from you the gift of this Lenten day. May we consecrate it to you with acts of compassion. Discipline our rebellious minds. Make us, Make us greater spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of infinite compassion, to love you is to be made holy. Fill our hearts with your love. By the death of your Son, you have given us hope, born of faith by his rising again. Fulfill this hope in the perfect love of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us take a brief moment. Let us recall our Lenten journey. Maybe our Lenten journey started on Ash Wednesday. Maybe our Lenten journey started a year ago. We seem to be in the hustle and bustle of things. Nothing has been the same since last March. It seems to be getting a little better. But let me ask you, are we still in that rushing mode? Are we still in that mode of we need to get things done? How is your Holy Thursday going to be tonight? How is your Easter Sunday going to be this year? Will you celebrate with family? Will it be a little bit different again this year? One thing that we can do starting tonight, maybe we haven't done it for a while because we're not used to it. Maybe we need to invite our Lord into your Holy Thursday dinner tonight. He's going to be there. He's going to be with you. Maybe we need to make a phone call to someone who we haven't talked to for a while. That's letting the Lord in. Maybe we need to check on our neighbor that we haven't checked on for a few months. Maybe they're scared to come out. That's letting the Lord in. I ask you, invite the Lord tonight into your heart and tomorrow. Let us continue that journey as we enter the Triduum, the three most holiest days of this year. Let our journey continue. Our journey never stops. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everybody. May God bless you.